Inner Awakening Breeze Stunning Health Recoveries 100% Cure for Depression Insomnia Asthma Fatigue Chronic Pain Insecurity Panic Attacks and other major disorders awaken the Kundalini Shakti the dormant energy within what would you do if you had 1300 percent more energy disease free mind and body is your first wealth claim it at inner awakening inner awakening a 21 day meditation retreat with rare living incarnation Paramahamsa Nityananda Nityananda Dhyana Pita Nityananda Nagar Biridhi Bengaluru Karnataka Contact 0802-727-9999 Email ia at nityananda.org Nityanandeshwara Samaramba Nityanandeshwari Madhyamam Asmadacharya Varyantam Vande Guru Paramparam I welcome all of you with my love and blessings. Today, as part of the Ganesha Brahmotsavam, Ganapati is gracing us on the Golden Elephant Vehicle. Ninth day of Ganesha Brahmotsavam. Tomorrow we have Ganesh Chaturthi. Today I will expand on enriching. Life of a Shiva Bhakta should be centered on enriching like Shiva. Please listen, come to the space of listening. Mahadeva is embodiment of enriching. Continuously, continuously enriching the world, supporting the world, carrying the space for the world to exist, rejuvenating the world. As I described earlier, Ganapati is embodiment of completion with all impossibilities or the ideas of impossible. Ganapati stands for completion with all the Vignas. Brahma stands for creation just through the Saraswati who resides in his tongue, the power of Saraswati. I bow down to that Saraswati, who resides in my tongue. Saraswati is embodiment of the knowledge. Brahma 
is the embodiment of creating through the knowledge and Vishnu is the embodiment of sustaining a vast, beautiful, powerful space in which everything is happening. Vishnu means all pervasiveness. Vishwa is the all pervasiveness. Embodiment where everything happens. Mahadeva, Mahadeva, Shiva is the embodiment of enriching. Please understand. Whenever you are stuck, you want to proceed further in your life, take up enriching as a lifestyle, you will have a breakthrough. I really tell you. If you are stuck in your business, if you are stuck in your career, if you are stuck in your health, if you are stuck in your relationships, understand, I am giving you the solution. Just decide to gather few youth in your village, in your town, clean the common places like a road or a temple or a school or a water body. I tell you, I am talking with logic integrity, authenticity, responsibility, you will have a breakthrough. Please understand, I am responsible for what I am uttering. Just gather few people, inspire them, clean the water body of your village, you will have health. I am not talking in the language of middle class morality, no. I am not talking in the language of middle class values, don't think. I am not talking like service organizations head, no. I am talking spiritual truth spiritual technique. Please understand, when a service organization says, gather, serve, clean, help, their context is different. When I say, gather few youth, clean the common places, like a road, temple, school, water body, I mean different context. When you take up this kind of work, the amount of enriching supposed to happen within you, outside you, unleashes a new Kundalini energy in you, new thinking in you, new awakening in you, new space in you, I tell you, you will have breakthrough. Anyway, wherever you want, breakthrough in your life, gather, gather as a group, enrich yourself and others through some action. Why Jnana Sammandar, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, all of them are able to do so much. Why do you think Jnana Sammandar and Chaitanya we are all able to enrich so many millions of people. They taught the science of helping yourself and others. See, Jnana Sammandar, in his biography, it is clearly recorded, 16,000 lay disciples and 10,000 sannyasis 
walked with him. Can you imagine? 16,000 lay disciples, 10,000 sannyasis, means 26,000 people together, walking with him, living with him. Is it a joke? Just 1600 people, the amount of problems they create, amount of torture they give, <laughs> give it to each other and to the Sangha. Sixteen thousand. How did he inspire? How did he handle? I tell you, this enriching people in every village about the spiritual truths, especially the Jnana Sammandar's method of Adi Padi Anna Amalai Kaitoda, Odi Pum Namadu Ulla Vinay Gale means the sing and dance worshipping Arunachaleshwara all the incompletions in your inner space will disappear all the incompletions in your inner space will disappear I can tell you it is such powerful process Jnana Sammandar and Chaitanya. The way they spread this. Each village, people gathering, enriching each other and themselves and doing some collective activities. Organizing and enriching like Jnana Sammandar with powerful miracles, expressing, radiating the power and energy of Mahadeva and volunteering, working like Tirunavukarasar, living blissfully like Sundarar. And the devotion, commitment like Manikya Vasagar. The stability like Manikya Vasagar. All this happens in you just by enriching. Please understand. All the viewers I request all of you, just gather few youth in your local village, conduct kirtans, sangirtan, means singing and dancing the, la the name of the Lord and take up some common enriching projects like cleaning up the local temple cleaning up the local water body, cleaning up the local school, understand It will revolutionize, it will revolutionize the whole world. It will revolutionize your world. When I say whole world, I mean your world. Suddenly it will change the energy of your being, ability of your being. The way you think, the way you live, the way you talk, the way you behave will be infused with so much of responsibility. 
everywhere I want Dhyana Peetam volunteers, organizers to do this. Start enriching <coughs> people in your area. Conduct Kirtans, Sangirtanam, singing and dancing in the name of the Lord, singing the name of the Lord, celebrating His presence in your life, celebrating the happening of an incarnation in your life. Understand, when an incarnation happens in your space, When an incarnation happens in your space, you become incarnation. When you know the why of the incarnation is why of you, you become incarnation. The why of the incarnation is why of you, you become incarnation. The biggest crime, incompletion, demon, devil a human being can have is withdrawal symptom. Means, why should I participate in the life? I can just exist. I never wanted a power post. Not wanting power and post out of incompletion is nothing but suicidal. Listen. Not wanting power and post due to incompletions is nothing but suicidal. This suicidal tendency, suicide is of different levels. One, the physical suicide, just by drinking poison or hanging yourself or by putting yourself on the, in front of a running train or getting married. <laughs> Once for all you die. These are all <laughs> the immediate suicide methods. There are some other psychological suicide methods where you just withdraw due to your intense hatred towards some person or a system or life itself. This is the most powerful demon, destruction in the life. I tell you, it is rooted in self-doubt, rooted in self-doubt, completing with the incompletion of the withdrawal is Ganesha. Completing from the withdrawal, completing from the withdrawal symptoms which is established, which is rooted in the incompletion of self-doubt is Ganesha. Ganesh Bhagavan Sabi Asambhavta Ke Vicharo Sabi Vigno Ke Saat Purnatva Ki Pratik He Saraswati Ji Ki Gyan Ki Pratik He Brahma Ji Gyan Dwara Srishti Ke Pratik He 
विष्णु जी सभी सृष्टि के रक्षण के प्रतीक है महादेव जी लाभान्वित करने के प्रतीक है जब 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 आप जीवन में फंसे हुए है और ब्रह्म में है कि आप कैसे आगे बढ़ सकते हैं तो उसका सीधा समाधान है लाभान्वित करना आपको आपकी समस्या का समाधान मिल जाएगा ए उदाहरण रूप आपने गांव के कुछ युवो युवाओं को एकात्रित कीजिए और आपने गांव के गांवों के तालाब या साधक या मंदिर को साफ कीजिए उस लाभान्वित करने से जो कुंडलिनी शक्ति का आप में जागरण होता है उसे आप कोई भी समस्या से बाहर आ जाएंगे ज्ञान समंदर जी अपने पूरे जीवन में दूसरों को लाभान्वित करते रहे उनके साथ सोलह हजार लोग और दस हजार सन्यासी चल रहे थे उनका संदेश था गाते और नाचते हुए अरुणाचल भगवान का गुणगान गाइए और अपनी सभी अपूर्णताओं को दूर कीजिए इसके लिए उन्होंने कितनी ही चमत्कारों का प्रदर्शन किया केवल लाभान्वित करने से आप आप में स्थिरता भक्ति समर्पण ये सभी गुना जाएंगे सभी गांवों में कीर्तन भजन और संकीर्तन होने चाहिए ये समझिए ये पूरे विश्व को परिवर्तित कर देगा और आपके स्वयं के विश्व को परिवर्तित कर देगा नित्यानंद ध्यान पीठम के सभी भक्तों से मैं चाहता हूँ कि आप गांव गांव में भजन और संकीर्तन करें और लोगों को लाभान्वित करें सबसे बड़ा रक्ष राक्षस बड़ी अपूर्णता ये है जब आप जीवन से पीछे हटना चाहते हैं जिम्मेदारी और अधिकार से भागना चाहते हैं ये आत्महत्या की बराबर है अंडरस्टैंड I really wanted this to start happening everywhere, all over the world. Get ready. From Vijay Dasami, we will start this. From Vijay Dasami to Jayanti, we will have this period. period season of enriching the month in which i am born margali all over india still the practice is there morning people will get down to the road whether vaishnavites or shaivites or shaktas all traditions they get down the road early morning sing and dance in the name of the lord enrich awaken everyone we will celebrate this season as awakening season the month i am born margali krishna says in the geeta masanam margasir shogam lot of Lot of beautiful things like I can't call it as coincidence because he says, "Masa naam marga sir shoham, Siddha naam kapilo munihi, our akada." Among the trees, I am the banyan tree. <laughs> Understand. that margali month is the brahma muhurta for devatas because for devatas one year human year is a one day that's a brahma muhurta the season for awakening waking up 
the time devatas wake up we should also awaken ourselves we should also get ready to wake up masanam margasirshoham so from vijay dasami to margari chitra nakshatra till my jayanti we will have this awakening rutu awakening season please understand whoever wants to take up this lifestyle which i am requesting everyone should take up all the centers all the visitors all the viewers who want to take up this in your village in your town please send an email we will support you with whatever is required for this program send email to programs@nityananda.org i wanted at least in 1008 places this enriching to happen where some of you take up the responsibility of gathering the local people morning kirtan and enriching each other and enriching the area you are living by conducting some common activity enrich for the better world enrich for the better world in your area clean up a common place water body a school or a temple in every village start doing this do the sankirtana every morning go round the local village in your area doing kirtana i tell you it will bring new energy out of you new inspiration out of you you will have a breakthrough you will have breakthrough whether you are stuck in the relationships are psychologically in some incompletions are health are incompletions related to career and profession do this do this enriching i am talking to you as a spiritual master i tell you when you gather and start working so much of new energy is released in you and i am also coming up with the next project be in india as a backpacker for one year be in india as a backpacker for one year i wanted to revive this lifestyle of parivarajaka even now mahanirvani akada our akada we do it every kumbha mela we initiate thousands of youngsters 
into sannyas and let them go around the country and enrich the world when they come back after the next kumbha mela when they come back next kumbha mela means after two and a half to three years then they become part of the akada they take up the responsibilities like kotari tanedar mahant sri mahant all these responsibilities they take up i also wanted o india o indian youth take up and i call people from all over the world all practicing hindus take up at least this one year be a backpacker in india traveling to all the 12 jyotirlingas and shakti peetas i tell you it will do so much of enriching so much of enriching i have done this in my life so i sincerely recommend all the youth should take up this at least for one year you can even go as a group four five people nothing wrong it doesn't need to be just one person or two person go as a group do like padayatra it is possible you can do as padayatra or traveling anything but spend an year at least one year as a backpacker in india i really feel even my sanyasi should go at least for a year Now only then they will they will have the new energy of enriching see when you are stuck and unable to get out you should take up this kind of a new activity to awaken the space of enriching in you i know vivekananda wanted an organization for sadhus so that they will collectively do lot of good to society one side mahanirvani akada want sadhus to reach out enrich so that they keep themselves alive and they go on enriching the society the other side organizations created by vivekananda the masters like vivekananda they said no let them all stay together in one place and contribute to society as an organization i feel both should be mixed in the right proportion proportion for the modern day if you are just staying in one campus forever you are also stuck and bored tired if you are continuously only wandering you also waste your life eternally in restlessness so once in a while going around pada yatra yatras that should be the right proportion right proportion and the right way of living o oh, youth of india practicing hindus all over the world i give you a clarion call live at least one year as a backpacker in india traveling to all over all the jyotirlingas and 
all the shakti pitas and i also commit to revive this lifestyle of parivarajaka give the taste of this parivarajaka lifestyle to the next generation youth i'll create a website and helpline helpline i'll establish a website and a helpline whenever you have really you need help related to health reason or any other help we will see to it that you receive that help people reach out to you through my organization and the sangha through our devotees we will support you during your parivarajaka <clears throat> providing the basic facilities for you to go around and enrich each sanyasi should take up this three as a commitment one being acharya ability to enrich everyone with the great truths of vedic tradition and being a parivarajaka who has traversed length and breadth of the country and being a paramahamsa remaining in the highest space untouched by any incompletions or impurities being always in the space of completion so from vijayadashami to my jayanti we will be having awakening season awakening rutu where in each village the local devotees disciples will gather enrich people do kirtans and conduct the satsangs enriching everyone with the four tatvas and helping the local community for the better world cleaning the temples schools water bodies and from my jayanti day till next jayanti one full year i'll also initiate people for parivarajaka be a backpacker for one year whoever wants to be initiated please be here on my jayanti day date 27th december of this year i am very sincere authentic i wanted to initiate at least 1008 people into parivarajaka and come back next jayanti to become part of the sangha after being polished shining like a diamond just like mahanirvani akada just like our akada we should encourage help awaken people to do this parivarajaka be a backpacker for one year in india traveling length and breadth of india going to all the jyotirlingas and shakti peetas i tell you you will not be stuck up you will not be stuck in your life this kind of activities awaken so much of kundalini in you intelligence in you
it brings a new energy to live the morality in you new energy to live the four tattvas in you so this vijay dasami october 13th to 27th december we will have awakening rutu the season of awakening with this i give clarion call to all the youth of india and practicing hindus all over the world prepare yourself for the one year parivrajak yatra to taste the vedic tradition spirituality please understand the indian elite elitist indian elite is completely disconnected from bharat india the indian elite lives in such a disconnected rootless space that is why they constantly threaten the mainstream hinduism they constantly deny destroy depress anything related to mainstream hinduism and they do not want to spare leave even a little bit of anything related to hinduism because they live such a rootless because they live rootless they become ruthless understand it is our responsibility to show the indian elite their roots and tell them don't be ruthless with this i'll move to the next segment of the morning satsang nirahara samyama today is the 18th nirahara samyama second level fourth day अब हम आज के निराहार संयम ध्यान में प्रवेश करेंगे सीधी तरह से बैठ जाइए और चेतना स्थिति के साथ कल्पना कीजिए कि आप बिड़ती वृक्ष बन गए हैं इस कल्पना के साथ आप आपने दोनों नासिकाओं और मुंह के द्वारा सांस अंदर लीजिए जितनी देर सांस जितनी देर आप अपने सांस को अंदर बांध कर रख सकते है उतनी देर आप अपने अंदर सांस को बांध कर रखिए जब आप अपने सांस को और बांध कर नहीं पा रख पा रहे हैं तब आप अपने मुंह बंद रखकर अपने सांस को अपनी दोनों नासिकाओं द्वारा धीरे से छोड़ दीजिए आप में अपनी पूरे संपूर्ति श्रद्धा उत्तरदायित्व और लाभान्वित करने का के चार तत्वों के साथ आशीर्वाद देता हूँ कि आप सबकी कुंडलिनी शक्ति जागृत हो जाए और आप सब अपनी जीव ऊर्जा को सीधे आकाश और वायु से उत्पन्न करें अब क्रिया आरंभ कीजिए और इस क्रिया को लगातार 21 मिनट तक कीजिए विद दिस आई मूव टू द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट ऑफ द मॉर्निंग सत्संग निराहार संयमा ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स प्लीज सिट स्ट्रेट क्लोज योर आईज इनहेल थ्रू बोथ द नास्ट्रल्स and the mouth simultaneously hold as long as you can exhale through both the nostrils with this cognize you become bidhi kalpa vriksha do this for next 21 minutes I bless you all let you all experience the kundalini awakening and 
live health, bliss and enlightenment by creating the energy required directly from the space. Namah Shivaya. Let you all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate, share and explode in eternal bliss. Nityananda Nityananda Dhyana Peetam Nityananda Nagar Off Mysore Road Bidadi Bengaluru Phone 080-2727-9999 www.nityananda.org www.youtube.com Slash Life Bliss Foundation